Hello, everybody, and today we are going to work on the Onshape Speed Design Challenge that they had set forth that's due on December 10th. Here they have us modeling as fast as possible a flexible shaft coupling for a 10 millimeter shaft diameter. It's composed of a number of different parts. The coupling hubs on the outside, which is one part just brought into an assembly twice, the flexible coupler in the middle, and set screws that are brought in. All we need to do is make the hub and the coupler and then bring it all into an assembly. So let's get started. So let's start in a new document. Create. Let's make sure that we're in inches. So we go to workspace units. Make sure you're in inches, even though it's for a 10 millimeter shaft. And let's create a sketch right on one of these faces. It doesn't matter which one you do. It's all the same. So now that I brought in my sketch, what we're going to do is the outer circles first. Now they give us all the dimensions in radius. So then we're going to have to convert them into diameter, which we can have on shape do the math. So I'm going to click on the first circle right on the center. And they tell us that it's 0.690 radius. And we can multiply that by two directly in on shape. They tell us the second circle, which we can do at the same time since we're already in the circle tool is 0.345 times two to the diameter. Next, we come in with the center point rectangle to make it bigger than we have to. That, and then we're going to dimension it to the correct width and then use a tangent constraint afterwards. So let's get that dimension tool. 0.278. And I believe it's 0.278 there as well. You're going to want to have your sheet in front of you with all the dimensions just in case you miss them from here. Next, come in with the tangent constraint. We have it up on top, tangent constraint. Click that, the circle brings it in, click the outside edge, and the circle. Now, now, notice what happened is the tangent is right there, and then it leaves that space, so we get those nice rounded edges that we were looking for. At this point, I'm going to finish the sketch. Next is important, because it'll save us a step later on. If we look at this directly from the side view, it's on that plane. We're going to extrude it out symmetrically, about that one plane, so we do not have to make, create a mid-plane later when we go to mirror some uh, other features to it. So let's go to extrude, hit symmetric, 0.420, I believe it is, and come in and start selecting everything that we need for the extrusion. There you have it, 0.420, and that is it. Hit the check mark, measure it's symmetric. So now we have a mid-plane through it. Next, I would come in and do these fillets on the inside. It's a little bit easier, and it gives us the shape that we're looking for. Go to the fillet tool. They tell us that it's a 0.12 radius, the fillet, and you can come in, do those. Remember, this is not the only way to make this part. So you can do these in order or out of order, some of these steps. Okay, hit the check mark. So there we have it. Next, we're gonna come in, we'll do the little circles that are on that face. So we're gonna create a sketch and we're gonna use a construction line to begin with. Circle, they tell us that, they give us a diameter of 0.920. Check off of the construction line, and then I usually go to the center, up, and it tells us that these are 0 0.150. That is that, and that is one. Now, what we did in class is we did the uh, circular pattern here. We're actually going to do the circular pattern after, because then we only have to click once to do the extrusion. So I am going to finish the sketch extrude out just this one, and then the height on that is 0 .030. So let's click over to here, and there it is. So it's not very much, check. And then we gotta come in with that chamfer tool, click on there, and I believe that chamfer, as they tell us, is a uh, 20 thousandths of an inch at 45 degrees. So 
the angle is already set in, so we go 0 0.020, and there's that. Now, let's do the circular pattern. Come up over here, circular pattern. Feature pattern. So we want that, and you'll have to zoom in for the extrude and the chamfer. Axis, let's see if we can select. There we go, because it's a whole circle that goes around it, knows that it's gonna use the center point, and there you have it, they're done. And there was four of them, the check mark. Now we can bounce these over to the other side, we can mirror them. Come over and mirror, what we're gonna do, feature mirror, features the mirror, click there, and that. And let's see, let's, okay, so if we click onto one of those, Notice that it gives up the circular pattern one. So that's what we want. So let's just click off those. Make sure we select here. Circular pattern. Mirror plane. Should be at the top. And if we look, there they are on the other side. Now it didn't pick up on this one, so let's grab that as well. And there we have it. So hit the check mark, and there they are. We're almost done with this part. Now it's just a bunch of fillets that go all the way around. Go to the fillet tool. It tells us the outer ones are 0 0.030 typical. So let's get those. And actually, the fillets, it looks like um, the whole thing are 0 0.030. So let's see here. Here. No, no, no. If you click the face, what's going to happen? Like so, just like that. Notice, depending on where you click, all right, we can get the fillets to happen on both sides. And it looks like it's at the check mark. Let's double check. That's got all the fillets, and that is the part. Right click. Let's edit the material of that as well. That was Delrin. Check that. And let's look at the mask there. That is 0.016 pounds. So pretty light stuff. All right. That should be all done. All right, so that's your part. That's the flexible coupler. So that took us, let's take a look, roughly seven and a half minutes to do it pretty slowly, and I think we can get it down quicker than that. Remember, we're trying to do this under 15 minutes, which I think with some practice, definitely can. All right, so let's go on to the next one, which is, let's take a look, assembly drawing, this coupling hub right here. So let's on to that. So I'm gonna just rename this part right here. That's the flexible coupler. And I'm gonna hit the plus, create a part studio. Right now, we'll call it the hub. Simple enough. And let's create a sketch right on this top plane. It doesn't really matter which one we do. And we are gonna start with the outer circle, which they tell us is 0.1360. The inner circle is 0 0.3943. We can get that done now. Oops. 0.394. There it is. We can finish sketch and we can do that extrusion as well. Now that doesn't need to be symmetric. It should be fine. 0 0.420, I believe. Or sorry, point. 750. All right, so 0.750 is the first part. Let's finish the sketch. Now we're going to do the two fingers that come out. Create a sketch on the top. Hit U for use. We're going to use that circle and that circle. All right, so you can see up there, use. 
Let me check. Oops. Once we have those, uh, we're going to draw two lines in coming from this point right here. They come out. Go way past. Then we are going to dimension them. 45 degrees off the vertical. Like that. And then we're going to draw another circle in. And they tell us that that's 0.115 radius. We multiply that by 2. Oh, sorry, 0.385 times 2. There we go. And that's the part we need. So let's finish sketch. Let's extrude that part out. And we can have it do the math for us. They tell us it goes to 1.28208 minus the 0.75 we already extruded. And that's the one. Now we're going to do a couple of things. We'll add the fillets on there. So those fillets are 115 on the inside. Okay, 0.115. Check that. And on the outside. They are 0.036. There's that. And now we can mirror that over to the other side. Feature mirror. Right, we want this. That. That. Make sure that we have the extrude in the two fillets. Mirror plane. Whoops. Right there. So we have that. Now we're going to come in and we have to create that keyway. So I'm going to just rotate this through and create the keyway here. Let's create a sketch on that surface. Get U for use. So we get that. Create a center point rectangle. Remember, we did this on a part that we've done in the past. Dimension it 0.118. And then from here to that dot, the top, it is looks like 0 0.056. Sketch. Extrude, we'll remove that all the way. And there's that. Now we've got to create that tapped hole that goes through, and this is where the set screws are going to come in and hold everything together. So what we need to do is create a sketch. I'm going to do it right on this plane right here. So I'm going to go do a section view first of that, hit the check mark, and then come in, create a sketch right on that same plane. And I'm going to hit U. What I want to do is I want to use this top line, bottom line, left, right, and that allow me to create a center point for the tapped hole. Come in, all right, hover over, you get the box. And it looks like we got that right there. So I'm good. One point, dead center, that's all we need. Finish sketch. Okay, so now we're going to be able to create, once we have the sketch, the actual hole. So click on hole. Click the point. Now, if we don't see it, it's in the section view. We're going to do the opposite direction. There we go. And it's a quarter 20 hole at 0.201 diameter, which it says on the spec. It's ANSI and it's tap. So as long as we go in that, Order, we're good to go. Hit the check mark, and then we're going to turn off our section view. There's our tapped hole. And the last thing we have to do is a chamfer. Chamfer on the outside edge and this inside edge of, let's take a look, 0.027, which I already have typed in, and we are good. That is the coupler right there. We just need to change that to aluminum 6061. Check mark, and that's it. I'm also going to change the color of this to a dark gray. There we had it. Uh, the flex coupler, I also made red, did that in between. And now let's get ready for the assembly. So if you don't have an assembly, you can hit the plus sign and go to assembly or have the assembly here. Now we're just going to start bringing in parts. We're going to do is insert our parts. 
one flex coupler, two hub pieces. Then we're going to go to standard content, bring in the set screws. So they're ANSI inch bolt and screws category, class set screws, hex socket. They have a flat point hex. See, flat point hex. They are quarter 20, three eighths of inch stainless steel plane. We'll insert two of those. And it's a check mark. Now there's lots of ways to assemble these. I'm gonna use a fasten, right? Because once these go together, they're technically not gonna move. We don't need to worry about rotation. So we can use a fasten on the center of these. Fasten me. Oh, before we fasten, I'm gonna take one of these parts and I'm gonna right click and hit fix so it doesn't move. Now let's use the fasten me. You come in, click. If you click that circle, you can see that shows up right there. I'm going to go to here, center that part, click. So you notice it goes in. Now, what we need to figure out is, well, how it looks like it's about 45 degrees off. So we hit offset, rotation angle, 45. Oh, and that was around the Z. So that fits. But if we look in close, it's right up. And we can see there's a slight overlap. So we have to move this out the distance of those little tabs. So here, let's try negative 0.030, and you see how it moves it out, and hit the check mark. So now, that's in there. We're going to do the same for this one. Fasten me. Come over here. Hit that circle. Hit the axis there. And now this one needs to be flipped, so we can hit flip primary axis. Offset. This one also looks like it needs to be rotated. Rotation around the Z, 45 degrees again. And let's do that offset about that Z axis. Uh, let's try 0 0.030. So I moved it in, we needed to move it out. So let's make it negative. And now hit the check mark there. And that part's assembled. Now we gotta put the set screws in. For those we can do Probably a fasten mate as well. Fasten mate. I'm going to click center of that hole. Go to the outside there. And that looks like I put it right in. Check mark. Let's take a look. There's one. Flip around. Let's get to this one. Same thing. Fasten mate. Okay, flip that axis check mark and that one's sticking out a little bit uh, let's see that matters uh, no that's good it doesn't say like how far it has to go in or anything like that uh, that is the assembled flex coupler thing all right that is it now what we're gonna do is to practice and see how fast we can get this done all right everyone have a great day